politics speaking over the Tirupati Laddus, the Prasad served at the Tirupati temple. Of course, uh, this after the Andhra Pradesh government led by the TDP alliance had claimed that there was animal fat that was actually used in these Laddus. And in fact, there was a report, a lab report as well that was publicized by the TDP government in Andhra Pradesh. And there's massive politics over it. Of course, the YSR CP, in fact, has not uh, uh, yet responded to the lab report, though they have said that this is uh, a report that uh, could have could be wrong as well and that there could be fallacies and loopholes as far as this private lab report is concerned. But remember, the TDP also making several other important points. Uh, Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Jagan Mohan uh, Reddy, in fact, uh, uh, has called for uh, a, you know, a nationwide survey of the prasad served in all um, you know, in all uh, temples that are controlled by uh, the Congress-run government. So, of course, there, uh, Chandra Babu Naidu really upping the ante. And also his deputy, Pavan Kalyan, who now says that, well, it's time for a national Sanatan Dharma Rakshan board. It's a first of its kind, given the fact that there is a huge political row as far as Andhra Pradesh is concerned. And Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister uh, Chandra Babu Naidu really upping the ante and, in fact, also hitting out of the Congress over the Prasad served at the Karnataka temples as well, certainly making it to be a political issue. But given the fact that there's devotion attached to it, there are a lot of sensitivities attached to it, uh, you know, it certainly warrants an investigation. My colleague Uma Sudhir has more details. Kamala Tirupati Devasthanam has right now constituted a four-member committee that will submit a report in a week about the quality standards that have been followed for the Tirupati Laddu. And this is uh, going to be very important because while a lab report has been presented in the public domain and we are being told that the TTD authorities are the one who had sent it for uh, lab checks, I asked what was the motivation for doing that. They said there had been multiple complaints about the quality of the Laddu uh, in the recent past and that's the reason why the, about seven samples were sent by the Tirumala Tirupati Devasthanam uh, to the NDDB uh, CAF lab, which is the National Dairy Development Board uh, lab uh, that is situated in Gujarat. And that's where the tests were conducted, following which they said there is adulteration, not just uh, with vegetable fats, but also with animal fat. And that is what uh, created uh, shock. And uh, the report, of course, created a lot of outrage among the devotees as well, mentioning that there is fish oil, uh, beef tallow, uh, as well as uh, something called lard, which is uh, said to be white fat uh, from a pig. So if those constituencies, uh, constituents are found in uh, the ghee that is used to prepare the laddu, that, of course, uh, will be something that uh, devotees cannot accept at all. Uh, you know, Tirumala Tirupati, Laddus per se are, uh, um, are patented in the sense that they have the GI tag, that they have the geographical indications tag and people would say that uh, anyone who has not eaten uh, the Tirupati Laddu perhaps has not really realized what divine taste can uh, feel like and that is the kind of uh, you know uh, uh, pride with which uh, the Tirupati Laddu is held. It has of course a lot of love and respect as well but the controversy per se with uh, Chandra Babu Naidu making this statement during an address that he made of India legislators, 100 days of formation of his government and at that time he made this mention that quality standards have gone down and that is where he also mentioned that fish oil possibly was also used in the ghee. The background to this is also, uh, I must mention, that the YSRCP has of course denied the allegations and they are saying that Mr. Naidu has stooping to very low levels in order to uh, you know, point fingers at the YSRCP or to blame them and they say that there is nothing, no such thing that has happened. And joining me on the show this morning, Konda Rajiv Gandhi, spokesperson of the YSR CP. Also with me, Deepak Reddy, spokesperson of the TDP. Let me go across to you, Mr. Konda Rajiv Gandhi. These are serious allegations that are being leveled by the TDP government. They say that the private lab report has now, in a sense, confirmed or validated their claims that they were an there was animal fat as far as these laddus were concerned. And given the fact that it's, uh, you know, it's, con it's controlled by the government um, and, you know, the allegation is, uh, you know, right, uh, you know, against you, how do you respond to it? Well, before responding as a representative of Vice Congress Party, as a Hindu, as a citizen of Andhra Pradesh especially, and a devotee of Tirumal Tirupad Devastan Srivaru, I would like to give some kind of clarity towards this issue because, first of all, the item which is tested, I think either it is ghee or some other thing, but it is not a laddu. 
द आइटम विच इज विच विल एंटर तिरुपति ओनली आफ्टर पासिंग थ्री काइंड ऑफ टेस्ट that to in the laboratory of tirumal tirupati devasthanam see giving tender means is not that permitting whatever the utter or gutter the tender made fellow will send to tirumala it will not be accepted so the tender is given we will check each and every container which reaches tirumala and that to of three kind of test and definitely yes this kind of material is failed and it was sent back and earlier in the so, same so manner so mr gandhi are our, you saying that the report the private lab report is entirely false then No, no. I am not saying that it is false. Hmm. But the thing is, it was not mixed into the prasadam before going to the preparation of the prasadam only. The test will be conducted, and in case of any such adulterations or alterations in the product, they will be sent back. In such manner, earlier 46 containers were sent back to the, the uh, tender holders who, who has already sent that material. So here, this thing first we have to give clarity to the devotees that there is no alterations in the prasadam lattu which have taken so far. It is clear. There is not no kind of alterations in the prasadam laddu. Maybe the alterations in the ghee or some other thing which came to Tirumala, but Tirumal Tirupur Devasthan rejected it. Okay. Okay. okay so that's a, that's an important point you are making that due diligence yeah. is followed when it comes to serving prasad. Uh, you know, in in a temple like Tirupati, where the faith of so many is actually attached. Uh, Mr. Deepak Reddy, how do you respond to that charge? It's an extremely sensitive issue. What Mr. Gandhi seems to suggest is that while the He may have animal fat. There was no animal fat in the actual laddus that were served to devotees. <laughs> the, when it comes to the YCP, the truth is a very big casualty. This is what I always keep saying. But I should thank the gentleman who just spoke before. He has agreed that 48 uh, tankers were sent back uh, in the last year. The minute the sample was collected, 15 tanks uh, tankers were actually uh, they went back without unloading. clearly knowing that the uh, uh, ghee is contaminated and during the earlier tdp government we had a laboratory uh, right in the temple which was closed down by the ycp government when they came to power so clearly it has been adulterated and 5 years ago when they stopped taking the ghee from nandini dairy from karnataka uh, they said clearly the cost of production is 400 rupees if anything is uh, if somebody is supplying below than this definitely they will be adulterating it be careful this is what the caution they have done but mm. they haven't bothered so clear cut we know there is a certain cost for a product if somebody is undercutting that cost obviously there is there is a uh, issue with quality so okay. here the fact is fact is the mistakes have happened they uh, uh, adulterated uh, uh, ghee has been supplied which was used to make the laddus and a detailed enquiry is ordered by chandra yes, babu naidu ji i think your point the that there should be uh, there should be a detailed probe a detailed investigation given the fact that there is serious allegations and you're also putting out that private lab report but mr reddy you know to say that the prasad served in all congress controlled temples to say that there should be a sanatan dharma rakshan board are you not in a sense trying to uh, create an unnecessary doubt in the minds of so many devotees when it comes to temples across the country i mean this could be uh, you know a case that pertains to one particular temple and there should be an investigation into that but to say that you know there's some sort, sort of suspicion that you have over prasad served in all temples isn't that sort of blowing it out of proportion a bit not true because if you look at even a simple aspect at traditional temple land mm. if you see across uh, most temple boards they are being uh, uh, you know stolen by people so today the temples have no protection the sanctity of the temples are being violated like in the earlier uh, uh, ysr government no matter how many times we said a non hindu has to sign on a declaration jagan mohan reddy hasn't done that so he wanted to sell the temple land then okay. there there were there were n number of corruption charges in fact yesterday papers also have reported more than 520 crores of initial enquiry into certain corruption charges hmm. so these are things which have to be taken seriously and, and the sentiment of especially this ghee of animal fat coming in this is extremely sensitive Okay. So, so they 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 didn't bother. Okay, no Mr. Gandhi, many, a quick response to that, and then I'll have to yeah, leave it there. Mr. Gandhi, a quick response. Yeah, the earlier, uh, yeah, earlier, yeah, no, 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 no,
hundred percent. Even TDP should give a statement right. Otherwise, they will definitely Lord Bankesh will punish TDP and Chandra Babu. No doubt, because the prasadam, the prasadam which is served to the devotees is not at all altered, or not or any kind of alterations were not done to the prasadam lattu. First, they have to give a clear statement on that. And moreover, okay. this is a clear diversion politics. As the hundred days of the governance rule completed by the new government, they were utterly failure in handling the. Floods or serving or saving the lives of sure. flood victims, or they failed in saving the Vizag steel plant to divert their uh, what we call failures. Today they brought this Tirumal Tirupati Devasthanam Laddu issue. It is very astonished and ridiculous and senseless. Sure. So, so that's the larger point you're party. making. But the point you made about the fact that the the prasads that were actually served the devotees, those were not compromised. I think that's an important point there. But well, thanks very much, uh, Mr. Reddy and Mr. Gandhi, for being with us. This is certainly a politically sensitive issue. Both the TDP and the YSRCP have to look at how to handle this sensitively, keeping in mind the faith that is attached to the Tirupati. And of course, the prasad served there the faith and belief of millions of devotees who visit the Tirupati temple every day. Well, TDP's Lok Sabha floor leader, Mr. Krishna, is with me. Uh, sir, uh, a shocking uh, report had arrived yesterday after uh, you know the chief minister of Andhra Pradesh claimed that uh, there is beef that is in the prasads of Tirupati temple. Uh, they have uh, claimed that you know there should be a thorough investigation into it. What you wanted to say because the entire nation is in shock. Uh, to put it very blunt, I'm not a person. I'm not someone who does anything political with regards to the Tirumala Tirupati Devasthanam. I'm someone who goes there every year, don't show my head. I river. I pray to God, uh, pray, pray to Venkatesh uh, Swami. So. That is the place where I'm not going to do any politics there. But whatever has been mentioned in that report yesterday, and day before, yesterday the, it has come out, and it was shock. It was shocking. I'm, I'm completely at shock. So I believe thorough investigation has to be done. If there is any incident that has happened that has been mentioned in that report, and if so, where was the what was the reason why that incident has happened? and where the systems were not functioning because there's thorough checks and balances of every ingredient that goes into the making of prasada at Tirumal Tirupati Devasthan. So if there is any system fa systemic failure somewhere that has happened, because you know, if any tenders has been called for, definitely they mention in the ten tender clearly what is the requirement if you have to supply something. So once someone has, is going to put a tender for that, they have to look into it and they have to vouch for what they are supplying. So in the whole process, we have to dig deep and we have to find out where anything has happened and if it has happened, where the system was a failure. So we have to correct it and we have to see that these kind of incidents, if it has happened, should not be repeated.